So now we use the distances that I had given you. So let me first write it in terms of equation. R1 F1 sine of theta 1 plus the torque due to this 2, R2 mg sine of theta 2 must be equal to R3, which is the total thing, R3 times T2 times sine of theta 3. So I wrote it as a general equation there. So now what's R1? So go to the problem here. That's a 90 centimeter mark, uh, minus 70. So that's 20. And I could keep it in centimeters because centimeter, centimeter, it will all cancel. You know? So 20 centimeters. F1 is equal to 0.686. Sine of what? 85. Plus this one, R2 is equal to what? 90 minus the halfway mark is 50. So that'll be uh, 40, right? So this one is 40 times the weight is equal to uh, 1.25. Sine of uh, 85 is equal to this, the torque due to this, which is uh, what's the R3? That's the 40 centimeter mark. So that's going to be uh, 50, right? 50 centimeters. So the reason I didn't have to change it to meters is uh, you have centimeter, 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 it will all cancel out. So 50 times uh, T2 times the sine of what angle? Well, either this one or this one. Right? Sine of this angle or this angle, it doesn't matter. So sine of six, I could do sine of 62. Now, look how good this, was, this is. Since I put my pivot point where the T1 was and the theta was, the torque due to that was zero. Therefore, there's only one variable, unknown variable remaining in this equation, just the T2. Everything else is known. Look how good that is. So I can immediately use the torque equation to solve for T2. So basically, just put it all in your calculator. Zero cancels the zero, cancels the zero. Put it all in and solve for T2. And then I'm going to go walk over there and see what it is. One point. Is that it? 1.44 Newtons. Okay, let me walk over there. We're putting physics on the test here. Okay? And even if it wasn't, I would still say 1.44, right? You know, make it look like... I would never, 1.24, it's between 1.4 and 1.6, closer to 1.4. It's between 1.4 and 1.6. The small markings there is a 0.2. So you can only see it's like 1.4 to 1.6. So you, if, I ha if I didn't know that, from this I would guess 1.5, okay? Very close, so it worked. Now, once we get T2, put it in there. So that will help solve this, 1.44. So look what I can do. I can have T1 sine theta 
is 1.93 minus, and then I could put here 1.44 uh, sine of 62. And then I could do another one here. Uh, I could take T1 cos theta to the other side. And I could say 1.44 cos 62, then bring the 1.69 uh, uh, here plus 0.169. So what I want to do by doing this is I want to get a number here like this, T1 uh, sine of theta is equal to some number, whatever this is. Then I want to get another number over there, T1 cosine theta is another number, right? So tell me what you get in those. And then from there I'm going to show for T, uh, theta by dividing the two, right? The cosine is the sum of those two. Zero point eight five. Yeah? Now, divide the two, so you get eliminate the T1. Tangent theta is uh, the ratio here. Right, and then take the inverse tangent of that. That will solve for what the theta is. And then take that angle, substitute it into one of these equations, and solve for T1. So you can put it into this one. And then we can check those two as well. One point oh seven six so it's one point oh eight newtons. So let's check these. So thirty seven, something like that. Yeah, thirty five. It's a little bit more than thirty five. It's a little this is hard to read the angle because of the so thick, but it looks like it's about 37, 37 to 38. If I didn't have that, I would say somewhere between 37 to 38. So that's, that's basically good. And then the tension here, someone else come check. One? 1.1 to 1.2? Yeah, between about 1.1 to 1.2, huh? What did we get? 1.1, yeah. It's about 1.1 to 1.2, so we're getting good here. So you see, this problem helps to illustrate also one important thing. When you're doing a torque one, try to put it where there's most number of unknowns. Make the solution much easier. Let's do another type, kind of one, and I'll show you here. We'll, we'll also try to do this as a demo also. I can drag this box.